Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about power theorem and here we will be solving n chapter question 4.69 and this is on the request of a student. So let's see the question find the maximum power transfer to the register R in the circuit. So we need to determine the maximum power that can be transferred to this register R. Now we have already learned that uh, if we convert the circuit in terms of a thermal circuit and then we connect the load resistance, then by adjusting this load resistance, we can achieve maximum power. And the formula for that will be that power is I square RL, which is equal to V thermal divided by R thermal RL whole square into RL. So we'll use this formula. Okay, so this is the question. So the first step is that we have to uh, convert or find the Thevenin equivalent circuit. For that, we have to remove the load resistance. So we're removing this. And then we can find V Thevenin first and then R Thevenin, or we can find R Thevenin first and then V Thevenin. So I'll follow this. We'll find R Thevenin first of all. And I'm sure you remember that to find R Thevenin, we have to put the independent source equals to zero. Now this is independent source. And to make it zero, we short circuit it. So this is short circuit it. We don't touch the dependent source. It will remain like that. And in this case, I'll just slightly simplify the circuit by, you, you can see these two are in parallel. So our simplified circuit will look like this. Now there are three techniques of finding R thevenin uh, when the circuit has a dependent source like this. One, we can connect a current source, test current source of one ampere. The other is we can connect a test voltage source of one volt. And the third is we can short circuit and find the short circuit current. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll connect a current source of one ampere. I'm also naming this point as V1. Okay, so we were here. Now how to find R Thevenin from here? This will be the formula that will be following this voltage divided by this current will give us the resistance R Thevenin. So we need to find this voltage V1. We mark the current directions. Now you can see these two currents uh, are leaving and these two entering. So by nodal equation, we write the entering current first, 0 0.03 V1, and this is one ampere, and then the leaving current. Now this current, you see, it is V1 divided by 22K plus 8K, so right here. And this one is V1 divided by 30K, simplifying, uh, we get equation number one. Now, to find V1, we need to eliminate V0. And V0 we can eliminate from here. You can see that V0 is actually V1 divided by these this total resistance, that is 30K, multiplied by 8K. So V1 is, uh, V0 is V1 divided by 8 plus 22K and multiplied by 8K. It gives uh, 4 over 15 V1. Now we'll plug this value into equation number 1. So plugging into equation number 1 and simplifying, we get this value of V1. Now that we know V1, we can find out R Thevenin. So R Thevenin is V1 over I1. So V1 divided by, sorry, this is 1 ampere. I'm so uh, this is the answer. R Thevenin is negative 1.3636 kilo ohm. Okay, now we'll find V Thevenin. We'll follow similar technique, but in this case, now the source will be present there, not short circuit. So this voltage here will be called V Thevenin. 
and we define the two voltages at the two nodes. I'm calling this V0 because V0 is here. So this will be V0 and this we call V1. Mark the current direction and then write the nodal equation. So at node 1, I'm calling this as node 1 and this node 2. So at node 1, this current V0 divided by Oh, sorry, V0 minus 100 volt divided by 10k. Then this one is V0 divided by 40k. And this current is V0 minus V1 divided by 22k. Now multiplying by the LCM, which is 440k, and simplifying this, V is our first equation. Now we'll write the equation at node 2. At node 2, similarly, this current entering, this is also entering, and this is leaving, so V130K leaving. Here also we multiply by the LCM 330K, solving, we get second equation. And from here, we can find V0. And this value of V1, V0, we'll put in equation number 1 to get V1. So plugging in the value and solving, we get V1 to be minus 243.63 volt. Now V1 is same as V7, same voltage. So we can will say that the V7 is equal to V1 is equal to minus 243.63 volt. Okay, now that we have found V7 and R7 both, and just a point to note that R7 is negative. That indicates that the circuit is an active circuit. Okay, so this is our equivalent circuit. And now we'll connect this load back. So connecting this. And now we'll use the power formula to find the maximum power across this resistance. We'll use this formula that we just discussed. So from here, plugging in the value, we get this relation. Now, to find the maximum power, the question says find the maximum power transfer to the resistor. Now you can see from here that power will be maximum when this denominator becomes minimum. And from the above relation, we see that when R becomes equal to 1.36 kilo, so this is uh, 1.363 kilo, then the denominator will become zero. So the denominator will become zero. And anything divided by zero will give us infinite power, and the power will become infinite. So putting in the value of R, this we can adjust to get this value. And from here, the denominator will become zero. And so the power will be maximum infinite watt. So that is the answer. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Please let me know through your comments. Thank you.